They are just nuts. Okay, what I think I'll do is I'm gonna have to go ahead and let them go in here. The smartest thing is to try and get them in here so they don't get loose. All right? Yeah, so you're gonna lock yourself in. Yeah. You can keep it open while we film, but just if they start to go for the door, then watch out. All right, girl, you can just walk right out. Come on, walk right out. He's really bloodied up this thing. This is horrible. These guys. Come on, come on. All right, now with him, I'm just gonna, I got this cloth in here, so that's good news for me. Well, yeah, just keep it like that. All right, now I got him. Up there. So what's good is I can wrap him up. Don't let her out. But I got, this, out. I got that geo cloth in here. All right, let's go doctor him up. I'll show you guys what's going on, what you can do with an injured rhino iguana nose, you can really see, it's it's not pretty. So, we're gonna try and get this going. It's all about making this animal calm. Uh, Being where he is. With me. This cloth comes in handy because now his nails can't get me. Okay. So you can see he's really banged up. Um, there's some soft flesh there. It's uh, something we're gonna have to remedy. I don't want this to progress because there are iguanas that you can see their whole top jaw is just worn away. So we really gotta work with this animal. We gotta get it back to health. So I wanna just get some water. Lukewarm, all right, we don't wanna burn them. And we don't also need a lot of force. What I'm trying to do is just have a little dribble here. Okay, and I've kept him wrapped up. It's gonna make it easier for us to handle him. I'm keeping pressure to keep him from opening his jaws. And I'm just gonna downwardly, we don't want the water to just go into his face, into his nares. All right, come over my right. You come on my right, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of getting the place wet. Okay, so we got some liquid there. Now this is Hybacleans. Uh, it's an antiseptic and uh, antibacterial skin cleanser. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, this is all tough to do without, I'm gonna go ahead, oh gosh, I just got a crick in my, so I'm just dumping a little on, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. What is that stuff? It's Hybacleans, it's like an antiseptic, antibacterial. Um, we're gonna debride a little of the dead skin. There's some scabbed skin that was cleaning and just wanna get that off, clear away from his nares. Um, it seems harsh, guys, but this has to be done. And we're gonna dress it up nicely with a really powerful antimicrobial, something called Silvadine cream, which I love using. It's really, really good stuff. Now this, oh, just pulling away this dead skin. It's amazing that he'll take it that far. That, you know what I mean? That yeah. They don't, they don't say, hey, you know, this is not good for me. Let me stop doing this. Which is why you really gotta pay attention to this. Cause this is, this is just new. I wanna get a little bit more on there and just really get this clean. And then we're gonna rinse it again. It's really a shame, because it's a beautiful, beautiful animal. But he could come back from this, guys. This isn't a death knell. Now what I'm gonna also do, since I got it, we're gonna rinse it and scrub a little. Just rinse, scrub away. Let him breathe. But this has to be done. Okay. Let's dry him. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is this is something called Silvadine. You get it from your veterinarian. It's a very powerful cream. I love it. Um, I'm gonna just gonna put this right on him. Right on him. Work it in. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on this stuff because I want it to fill up any damaged areas. And of course, it's gonna get wiped off, but now this is safe, you'll use it on all the reptiles. I use it on my tortoises. Um, it's good on burn victims. It's just got a very, it's got very good antimicrobial properties. So it fights against infection, which is one of the things they worry about with burn victims because you're basically the 
organ that fights infection is your skin, right? Because it covers you. Uh, it covers you and protects you from the outside world. And um, he's damaged his, so this is the same thing. We're gonna just get this on there, we'll leave it on there. Of course, uh, he's going to wipe some off, but I'll just keep applying this daily uh, and make sure that he's good. Now the last thing I wanna do, since I have him and he's being so agreeable, I'm gonna squat down, guys. Oh, which gets harder and harder the older I get. But uh, we're gonna go ahead, keep some pressure on him, but watch this. All right, so look, I'm checking his nails. This nail looks fine. This one we can clip a little bit. And you see how there's the thick part of the nail and then a little tiny nail, like fingernail portion. I'm just taking that edge off because that's the stuff that really scratches you when you handle them. So these are special clippers. You can get them at any pet store. They're just for trimming bird nails, lizard nails, dog nails. So it's just a nice thing to do while I'm here, since I know that I'm gonna be handling this animal more and getting him used to me. I wanna make sure he doesn't tear me up. So you see, don't go too deep. Now if you go deep, you, you're gonna get a little blood. If you do, don't freak out. He'll react. Um, it, it's just like cutting your nail too short, but don't be upset. But again, look, I'm not taking a lot off. I'm just taking the tip. Hold on. I don't like that. I want to be right there. Yeah. See? Got it. Just gentle. Right like that. This way, this guy is going to be all manicured, all doctored up. And look at how nice he's being. But again, we've covered the eyes. So he's just almost in that, uh, what we call a, oh. What's that? We learned it. We learned it in one of our videos about the alligator. Tonic? Oh. To tonic state? Uh, what is that state? It's something with Tonic immobility, yes. right? So we uh, have placed the animal in one of those zones. Look at this. Keeping, as long as we keep his eye. Oh, look. And look, guys. See? This is why we do it. See this? He's, he's got an infection in here. He's ripped his nail. So uh, it's good that we do this. You see, it's very, very important from climbing too much, uh, they can hurt their nails, he's just panicking all the time. So we really have to be vigilant with this guy. Okay. One more. Little foot. Isn't that the name of a dinosaur, Little Foot? I think it is. The land before time. Little finger? Little finger. More like middle finger, because he's always like, screw you, man, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, here he is. Now, my, as soon as I undo this, I would assume he would wake up and get wacky on us. So let's keep him wrapped up. Keep him wrapped up. I'll keep an eye on that fingernail. There's his little eyeball. But I think we did good, folks. Let's go put him back out and marvel at what we've accomplished. I'm going to go ahead and leave the hat. Give you a watch your head walking out. There you go. All right, let's go. Let's go over here. So it's worth the effort, everybody. This is what you have to do. Always be around your animals. Never get too many animals that you can't keep up with all of them. It's a full-time job around here. I just want to impress that upon you. So uh, understand that, and you should be good. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead, grab him. You don't want to get a bite from this guy. Watch him wake up. Watch him wake up. Here he is. So if I can continue to have this kind of interaction with him, I think that's gonna benefit the both of us. Mostly him, he'll calm down. We'll get him used to us, because he is the male. See, he's starting to wake up, let's get him in. He is the male though. Easy, sweetheart. She doesn't bash her face up. She doesn't panic as much as he does. First, I wanna take this out, quickly. All right, I'll get that, 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 that. easy boy, easy boy. Let's get away and let them relax. Okay, thanks guys for hanging out with me. Tom, thanks for helping me. Can I just say, this is one of my favorite videos. Why is that, dude? Because there was a lot going on here. I love, first off, the new location is amazing. Cool. Their home is better. They're gonna hopefully tame down. But also, the maintenance 
on an injured iguana like that. Yeah. I, I just found that really cool. Cool, man. Well, I hope you guys liked it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Guys, share our videos. Head over to the Camp Kennedy Army channel. You can follow along there as well. Two YouTube channels. We're just going nuts. And uh, lots of content you won't find anywhere else there. Also, another place you can go where you're not going to get content uh, that you, well, you're going to get content that you can't see anywhere else is go to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Camp Kennedy. All right, everyone, that's it. Let's let this guy relax. He's being good. Let's back away slowly. And we'll see you guys on another episode. Go on.